Hey guys, today we're going to be going over uh, switching from uh, NVIDIA GeForce graphics card to an AMD graphics card. Uh, how your system responds to that. Um, what you want to do is first, uh, after you switch out your AMD graphics, what you want to do, it probably won't detect it through the back of the graphics card. So what I would do is uh, cut the power source to your AMD graphics card and uh, make sure of course all your drivers are up to date and hook up through one of these I have a i5 CPU so uh, I can just directly hook up to HDMI or VGA or DVI I hook it up to that and then uh, I installed the CD for the AMD graphics card I installed some of uh, the drivers and after that uh, I restart the computer and uh, I had it hooked up through HDMI to my monitor and uh, it was able to detect it after I hooked it back up but uh, the AMD Catalyst it didn't install the actual driver for the graphics because it what it does is it detects it and since it wasn't hooked up before it couldn't install it actually installed it so now uh, if you right click it actually gives me that AMD Catalyst Control Center before it was not Another thing is uh, after I installed the driver and uh, the option told me to restart the computer I have the DVI hooked up and the HDMI. The HDMI is going directly to my monitor in front of me and the DVI goes it's got a converter that goes HDMI output onto my 4K Samsung TV and uh, if you notice on the 1080p it's fully scaled on my TV but on my monitor as you can see there's some there's a little gap right there so it's not fully filling it in uh, that's fairly simple to fix I think I have it in one of my other videos for Nvidia graphics cards but on here you just go to the Catalyst Control Center you're gonna go under my digital flat panels and under scaling options what you want to do is just move this until if you look you go until it fills it up and that's full I'm trying to think where is it full for me yep right there so that's full it was right there I go over there and now it's full for me you just apply the changes and that solves that on your monitor and it's still the full scale on my TV